Good morning, guys. Today we are going to have math class. Today we have Thursday, May 14, 2020. But before starting our class, we are going to pray. So I will invite you to bow your heads, close your eyes, because we are going to pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, thank you for the new day of life that you have given us. In this moment, we come to you to give you thanks for all your blessings because all these days you have protected us and uh, you have provided us what we need. In this special morning, I ask for each of the family of my students. Continue being with them, protecting them, providing them uh, food, medicines, and what they need. Now that we are going to start our class, please, Lord, help us to understand what we are going to learn. Help us to be attentive, to comprehend the class of today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. So, today we have Thursday, May 14, 2020, and the topic that we are going to see is simplifying fractions. I want you to go to page 143, page 143. Do you see the picture that you have in there? It's a boss and a boy is a entering on the bus. A woman is driving the bus, right? And it says that the capacity of the bus is 48. Here I have something similar to that. Let me see. Okay. By here you can see the capacity is 48. Now let's read the problem. Mrs. Phillips has a full bus lot of children this morning. That means that the bus is full. That means that in the bus we have how many children? 48, because the capacity is 48. And if it's full, it's because the bus is with 48 children. Let's continue reading. If 32 boys are riding, are on the bus, what fraction of the children of the bus are boys? So here, guys, we have something. It says that you have a Mrs. Phillips has a bus, and this morning the bus is full. That means there are 48 children on the bus. But 32 of those 48 are boys. Okay? Now, guys. If we want to represent 32 boys in fraction, because it says what fraction of the children on the bus are boys, how do we do that? How do we represent 32 boys in fractions, 32 of, of 48, out of 48? So let's um, answer the information sentences. Let's continue reading. We want to find the fraction of the boss lot. Is what fraction of the boss is boys? The boss holds how many children? Forty-eight children. Excellent. And there are how many boys on the bus? Thirty-two boys. Okay, so answer that. And I want you guys to remember that in a fraction, we have a number here and a number in here. The number that is up, we call it numerator. And the number that is under, we call it denominator. So let's repeat. Numerator. Denominator, numerator, denominator. Okay. Now I want you also to remember that 
in the numerator, we have only one part. And in the denominator, we have the total amount, okay? So, if the numerator is only one part and the denominator is the total, what number is going to be in the numerator? 32 or 48? Excellent. In the numerator, we are going to have 32... And in the denominator, we are going to have 48. That means that 32 is only one part. It's not the total of the bus. 32 are boys. And 48 are the total number of children in the bus. Okay? So... That means that 32 out of 48 are boys. The rest are girls, obviously. So in that way, we represent the fraction, 32 out of 48. Now, guys, I want you to see something. 32 out of 48 or 32 48, this fraction can be simplified. And what does it mean to simplify? To simplify is to express this fraction, but in simplest terms. This is one term, and this is another term, okay? The first term is numerator, and the second term is denominator. So we can express this fraction in simplest terms. What does it mean? We can reduce the fraction. We can make this fraction smaller. Okay? How do we do that? Okay. Do you remember uh, the common factors of two numbers? A factor is a number that can divide one, another number. For example, here we have 10, and a factor of 10 is 2, because 10 can be divided by 2, 5 also, because five can, uh, 10 can be divided by 5, number 1, and also number 10. These ones are the factors of 10. Do you remember that? Okay. So now, to simplify this, we are going to write something like this. It's not the sign of the. It's not the sign of equal. These ones mean to simplify. Okay. To simplify this fraction, we have to look for a number that can divide 32 and 48. Okay, we have to find a factor, a common factor of 32 and 48. So let's let's think about what number can divide 32. What number can divide 32? Or 32 can be divided by what number? 8, because 8 times 4 is 32. So let's do something. I'm going to. So we are going to divide 8, but we have to use the same number in here, 8. And let's answer. 8 can divide 32? Yes, because 32 divided by 8 is 4. Now, 48 divided by 8, 6, because 6 times 8 is 48, okay? Do you understand, guys? What did we do? 
To simplify a fraction, we haven't finished yet. Just I'm repeating for you to understand. To simplify this fraction is to make this fraction smaller. How do we do that? We have to look for a number that can divide both of them. A number that divides 32, but evenly or exactly. And a number that divides 48 exactly also. And that number is 8. 32 divided by 8 is 4. 48 divided by 8 is 6. Okay? Now, here we have the new fraction. But let's answer. Let's ask, sorry. Can you continue simplifying? Do you think there is a number that can divide 4 and 6? What number can divide both of them? Number 2, right? These, num these ones can be divided by 2 and by 2 here also. Remember that it has to be the same number in the numerator and the same number in the denominator because it's the same number that has to divide the, no the, this, the fraction. So let's do it. 4 divided by 2? Two? 2. 6 divided by 2? 3. Now, here we have the other fraction. And tell me, can we continue dividing that? Do we have a number that can divide both, but a number different from 1? That can divide both. This number can be divided by 2, but this one, no. Number three can be divided by three, but number two, no. So the only number that can divide both of them is one. Two divided by one is one, and three divided by one is one. So when we find that the only number that divides both of them is one, that means that we already simplified the fraction and this is the answer. Simplificar significa hacer más pequeña la fracción hasta que lleguemos a un punto como este de aquí en donde ya no hayan common factors. And the only common factor that you are going to have is number one. Ok, aquí el número, el único número que divide al 2 y al 1 y al 3 es el número 1. Ya no tienen factores comunes. So when we arrive to this point, we say that the fraction is already simplified. Okay? Let's, we are going to, to so let's uh, answer the, the sentence. It says, the last sentence of the problem, the fraction of children on the bus that is boys is two-thirds. Two-thirds of the of the boss is boys or are boys, okay? So now we are going to solve the exercises in page 143, okay? Number one, let's read the instructions first. Write each fraction in simplest term. Guys, always read the instructions, okay? Simplest term. What does it mean? To make it smaller, okay? To reduce it in simplest terms. So what fraction are you going to simplify? Four eighths. So you have to find a number that can divide both of them, but a number different from one. And here we have it. Number four. Number four can divide four, and number four can divide eight. So let's divide it oh, only. 4 divided by 4, 1. And 8 divided by 4, 2. Because 2 times 4 is 8. So in here, what fraction do we have? 1 half. So this one is the answer, 1 half. This one is the, sim the simplest terms. Okay, this fraction was simplified and the result was this one. Okay, do you understand? 
The only thing we did was to look for a number that can divide both of them. And then you divide it, and that's all. So let's do number two. Number two says six ninths divided by three thirds. Okay, you have to simplify this fraction, six ninths. And what is the number that can divide both of them? Number three. That's why in here we have three in the numerator and three in the denominator. Six divided by three, two, because two times three is six. Okay, nine divided by three, three, because three times three is nine. So we have that the simplest term of, of this fraction is two thirds. Now, can you continue simplifying this fraction? This one, two thirds? No, right? Because we don't have other number different from one that can divide two and three, only number one. So if we, if we find that only number one can divide the numerator and the denominator, that means that we already have the simplest form of the fraction. So this one is already simplified, two thirds. Now let's continue with number three. Okay, number three says A12. You have to simplify A12. Okay, so to simplify A12, we have to divide A12 by the same number. Okay, we have to find a number that can divide 8 and a number that can divide 12. That means a common factor and here we have it the common factor of 8 and 12 is 4 why because if we divide a by 4 it's 2 okay because 2 times 4 is 8 and 12 divided by 4 3 because 3 times 4 is 12 okay so number 4 is a number that can divide 8 exactly and also can divide 12 exactly. So again, here we have the same fraction of number two. Two thirds is the simplest form of a 12, okay? So that means, guys, that for example, if we have a 12 is the same to have two thirds. They are equivalent fractions, just that this one is already simplified, okay? So uh, now let's do number four, okay? Here the fraction that you have to simplify is five fifteenths. So you have to find a number that can divide both five and 15. And here we have that number, number five. Five can be divided by five and 15 also can be divided by five. So if we divide five, by, divided by five, equals what number? One, right? Five divided by five is one, and 15 divided by five? Three, because three times five is 15. So here we have the simplest form of number four, one third. So five fifteen is the same to say one third, okay? This one is already simplified. Did you understand, guys? Okay, so let's do the second part of this page. Let's read the instructions first. The instruction says, write each fraction in simplest terms. Write each fraction in simplest terms. Here we have number five. Here we have the fraction that we have to simplify, four twenties. And here is the fraction that is going to be the, the simplest form. Now, how do we simplify? Remember that we have to divide four twenties by the same number in the numerator and the same number in the denominator. So what number can divide both of them? What number can be a common factor for 4 and for 20? 4, right? 
because if we divide four and four in here also, if we divide four divided by four is what number? One. And can you divide 20 by four? Yes, because 20, 20 divided by four is five. Five times four is 20. Okay, so can you continue simplifying or this one is the answer? This one is the answer, correct. It's already simplified, why? Because we don't have another number that can divide one and five, only number one. But remember that the number that we have to look is, it has to be different from one. So when we find that only one can divide both, we already have the, the fraction simplified. So this one is the answer. Let's continue with number six. Okay, in number six, you have 612. You have to simplify 612. So how do you simplify? Ah, you have to divide 612 by the same number in the numerator and the same number in the denominator. What number can we use to divide um, 6 and 12? The same number 6, right? Because if we write 6 in the numerator and 6 in the denominator and we divide 6 by 6, it's going to be what number? 1 and 12 divided by 6 is going to be 2, okay? 1 half is the answer. But what about if you say, okay, miss, but if I have 6, 12, I can divide 6, 12 by 3. 3 here and 3 here. Yes, you can do it. Just look what is going to happen. 6 divided by 3, 2, right? Because 2 times 3 is 6. And 12 divided by 3, 4, right? Because 4 times 3 is 12. Now, is this one the answer? Is this one already simplified? No, because we can find a number that can divide both of them, 2 and 4. And we have to continue simplifying. What number can divide 2 and 4? Number 2, right? 2 in here and 2 in here. So you say 2 divided by 2, 1. And 4 divided by 2, 2. So now we have the same answer here than in here. What is the difference? It's better to look for the greatest common factor. Do you remember the greatest common factor of 6 and 12? Okay, so that in that way, you can use the biggest number because if you use, for example, number 3, you can do it, but in here you are going to find that this fraction you have to continue simplifying and simplifying and simplifying. So it's better to use the greatest common factor. Okay, number seven says 10 25 or 10 25. You have to simplify 10 25 to do it smaller. So we have to find a number that can divide 10 and 25. What number can divide bo both of them? It doesn't have to be one, okay? A number different from one that can divide 10 and 25. Number? Number five, excellent. 10 can be divided by five and 25 can also be divided by five. So if we divide 10 by five, 10 divided by five? Two, because two times five is 10, excellent. Now, 25 divided by five? Five because five times five is 25. Now guys, this is the new fraction in simplest term. Now, can you continue dividing this fraction? Do you have another number different from one that can divide two and also can divide five? The same number? No, right? We don't have another number that can divide both of them. 
Two can be divided by two, but five cannot be divided by two. Five can be divided by five, but two cannot be divided by five. So, remember that to simplify, we have to use the same number from the, for the numerator and for the denominator. So that means that this one is the answer in number seven. Now let's go to number eight. Nine twenty-sevens. You have to simplify nine twenty-sevens or to do it smaller. So let's find a number that you can divide both the numerator nine and the denominator twenty-seven. What number can divide nine and twenty-seven? The same number. Mm. Okay, number nine. Okay, we write nine da uh, up and nine down. Why? Because nine divided by nine is one, and 27 divided by nine is three, because three times nine is 27. So in here, we already have our simplest term. The fraction is already simplified. But what about, guys, if you said, Miss, but I have 927 and I can divide 9 by 3 and also 27 by 3. Is that possible, guys? Yes, it's possible. Just that the process is going to be larger. Because if you divide 9 by 3, what is the answer? 9 divided by 3? Three, right? Because three times three is nine. Okay, now 27 divided by three? Nine, because nine times three is 27. Now guys, is this one already simplified or you can continue simplifying? Do you think number three and number nine can be divided by the same number? Yes, we can divide number three and nine by three. Okay, and we say three divided by three, one, and nine divided by three, three, because three times three is nine. So look, we have the same answer. It doesn't matter if you start with a smaller number like number three or with the biggest number. Es mejor encontrar cuál es el número mayor que ellos tienen en común. Que, que, que pueda dividir al numerador y al denominador. Porque si agarramos un número pequeño como el 3, está bien, pero tenemos que seguir simplificando. Nos da esta respuesta aquí, pero 3 y 9 pueden ser también simplificados hasta que lleguemos a un punto como aquí, donde ya esta fracción ya no puede seguir siendo simplificada. Porque el único número que divide al numerador y al denominador es el número 1. Okay, so you can do it in a fast way, finding the, the greatest common factor, or you can do it in this way, finding a number, but you have to, any number, uh, but you have to ask if the fraction it can be continued simplified or not. Okay, guys, now is your turn to work. What is going to be your homework? Here you have it. You have to work in math, page 144, all the page. But remember, guys, that you have to send me pictures of 143 and also 144. This is the points of the class, and this one is points for homework. So don't forget to send me the page that we saw here in the video. Okay? So you have to send me both of them. So this is all for today, guys. Blessings.